Hello again, Internet. Backslash Echoes, back in action. Uh, I, I surprise even myself sometimes, to be honest. It seems my vocal cords are resilient little bastards that bounce back very quickly no matter what hideous torture I put them through. And a couple of you know exactly what I'm talking about with that. Uh... What is it about the name Dr. Insano that eludes you people? <laughs> anyway, I am back at last, my voice back to normal, just in time, or a couple days late, really, to announce that my domain is up and running. AdaptationDecay.com is mine all mine, baby. Um, honestly... I would have held off a little longer because I still don't have a, a DV cam or anything with which to record any kind of quality. I don't have a better microphone to record with than this thing. I still don't have a better method to record audio than just hanging my headset around my neck. All told, I really would have held off a little bit longer on purchasing the domain name. But I know me, and actually putting out the money now and putting this domain out and spreading it and talking about it as much as I am trying to make myself do is going to be the best motivation, the best impetus I can give myself to actually keep going and make this damn thing happen. I'm, well, I said the same thing about Gundam Bridge at one time when I thought of it, but I really am very excited about this idea, and so I'm gonna do my best to keep this going, and this is this is a good motivation to do that. Sorry, a squeaky chair. And buying the domain is a great motivation. Um, if I if I don't get a better camera, microphone, everything for the holidays, I guess I'll have to pull what money I can. I got a coin jar over there. I can send a coin star, and do the best I can with what I can afford, I will get this show off the ground. Now, along with the registering of my domain name came the research to make sure that it was available. Obviously, it was. Plainold.com. Easy peasy. Uh, I don't have anything against a .net or anything. I did consider it, and I did consider getting it in addition, in order for a backup, but frankly, I'm not expecting that much site traffic, let's be honest. Nobody knows who I am, and I don't blame them. So, AdaptationDecay.com, all it is. This research, however, did turn up several other sites that use the title Adaptation Decay, the most prominent, the top of every list, being the TV Tropes page. Kind of expected that, considering I kind of unashamedly swiped the title from them. But, uh, I have to also say, not only did I Google it and Google it a lot, I have more recently, now that I've purchased the domain, Googled it, Googled it on a browser that I don't use, which is obviously Internet Explorer. So, it has no predispositions based on browsing history or anything I may have uh, shared on Google+, which I have shared this repeatedly on Google+. So, it, it's, it, my results won't be skewed at all. And because it's just plain and simple, I googled Adaptation Decay, two words. At the time of writing, well, speaking, I am in the sixth slot. Hopefully I'll edge up a bit higher, probably won't outrank TV tropes, but maybe at least get right up under it. Um, I have no relation and no intention to have any relation with the WordPress of the same name. There's a, a WordPress subsite with the name Adaptation Decay. It has exactly three posts, all of them from 2009. Was it 2010? I think it might have been 2010. All of them were from December of 2010. That's right. When, let me see... Yeah, it is 2010. The uh, The guy who created that 
WordPress is uh, w- was planning to create a podcast with essentially the same inspiration, the same idea that I've come up with. And considering that this podcast lasted a very short time, like very short, like he made one episode, I'm hoping that I have a little more uh, success in uh, making it work. And uh, incidentally, no, I have not listened to that podcast because I'm planning to do the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie myself at some point, and I don't want to color my opinion. Um, if I remember, I'll watch it after I make my own review, or at least after I write it. So, we'll see. Maybe he had some good ideas that I can draw on, and we'll see. Uh, there's also a YouTube channel with that name, which has two uploads from 2009. Nothing to do with me. So, stick with my personal YouTube. Likewise, the person sitting on the Twitter account, Adaptation Decay, which is the same person who has several other registered websites, including a free web subsite and a live journal subsite, all called Adaptation Decay. And which appear to be about people swapping dirty fan fiction. So, A, that has nothing to do with me, and B, I'm not going to be able to claim any of those sites as long as this person's sitting on them. Uh, the only one I might have tried to use was the Twitter one, and as he's sitting on it, all of those would have been untouched since 2009, except when this person suddenly reappeared in October. So... Rather than try to create a novelty account for the site, I think I'll just keep it all on my own personal Twitter account, the same way I'm keeping this on my personal YouTube account. In short, the gist of this video is to say excitedly that you can find me at AdaptationDecay.com. I will post a link down below, along with all the other relevant sites I can think of, my, my Facebook fan page, my Google Plus fan page, my personal Twitter account, etc. Um, I think that's about all I had to say in this particular video. I'm going to throw together another one after this, talking about how I spent last weekend at ShadowCon. So, see you on the other side. Backslash Echo, signing off. You got change! Ah, oh, come on, help a guy out, would ya? Come on, change! I am a man! Hmm! What is this place? Some kind of convention full of nerds. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Mud scratcher! I'm not David Bowie. Shut your mouth, boy. We've got important work to do. Damn, I'm good.